Lots of experience for Romantic here, his typical AM play. Heavy footman usage, heavy militia usage. Willing to sacrifice tech speed in favor of levels. As you can see, uh, tech is actually looking okay-ish. It's not that light. And level three, nice and early. With that, is really strong right now. Ooh, that storm whiffs. A player's forces are under attack. And of course, the fountain here on Lost Temple in the middle is always an important thing. Is the level three AM strong enough to uh, claim it? Is he expecting an expansion here? Nope. Run by to the Burrows, another romantic classic. Good old Burrow attack. Oh, A peon blocked. Nice touch attack. there by Guagua, but this peon, uh, this Burrow is still exposed. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage right there. In the meantime, Fountain being claimed. Go Suling Guagua and Shao Kai. Ooh, that Burrow. Ooh, it's close! It's gonna die. Oh, nice stomp! That stomp! Might still not be good enough, though. Nope, it's not good enough. Oh, and there was a lot of money into repair as well. Aye, and this borrow so close to done. Pretty cool how Romantic just plays his 1v1 style in the 2v2. <laughs> and it's working. I think it did cost them a couple of grunts, though. It's grunts dying everywhere. A player's forces are under attack. Jesus Christ! It's a slaughter. Yeah, 28 supply only left for Shao Keke. He has lost a lot of grunts. Shadow Hunter is there. Oh my God! Is he gonna get another one? I don't think so. Shadow's coming in, he should be saving the rest of the army, in quotes. Army at the moment is two heroes and one grunt. That was painful. A player's forces are under attack. And Romatic is like, once more into the breach, my brothers! Okay, never mind. Actually, it's time to leave. Double movement speed now, uh, from the auras of the TC and the DK. Wants to get the rifles. Those are the biggest kills. So many aggressive coils from the Death Knight. Making use of the clarity from the Orc Shop there very well as well. Stomp again. Stomp a little bit too late. But now, Shao KK here is uh, ready to put some pressure on the Athenians as well. TP out from Kai. Oh, if he loses both these fiends, that feels bad. Aye. That feels bad. So. Who comes out ahead of this early game? I have no idea, honestly. A player's forces are under attack. We don't have any expansions. Double barracks work, but... Tier 3, Slaughterhouse Lich. Everything normal here from Shao Kai. Romantic keeps on creeping up a storm. As he likes to do. Would love to get level 3 here on the MK. Gold mine creep in the north is not quite gonna be good enough. It's always weird to creep this camp, right? It's good experience and item, kind of. But, like, whatever you want to do after, you're just so far away. This camp takes a lot of time. Not exactly creeping this camp, but just getting there and getting back takes forever. Ring of Region is pretty poor. Players' forces are under attack. Oh, what do we have here? TC is level three. Ooh, yeah, going coming in with a stomp. But this army for Shao KK is much, much, much stronger. Oh, thank you, by the way, to 
Monochrome with a 22 month resub. Blazin Mablantz for the first time sub. And Albtraum with a 2 months. Thank you guys very much. Hmm. We've had some connection issues today. Maybe this is the case here as well. But I guess... I'm liking Romantics and KK's position more and more. KK's gonna get a remainder of this camp. He's probably gonna be able to get this one to follow. He still has his natural available. At the red camp though, what do we get? Medallion only. The There's only two auras on this back. map from the red camps. I still have never seen, or in these last couple of months, never once was there an island attempt. I'm not talking about an island expansion, just like an island visit. Isn't it like sick experience and item from this camp? Romantic forces the TP home. Very defensive, Michelle Kai. Tier 3 finishes, orb becomes available. And it's actually um, Linguagua here who gets the camp. And the pendant, that's very nice. Level 2 shadow, finally. Shop KK with a level 3 shadow, that's very nice. Oh, in the meantime, expansion. Didn't see that. Sanctum coming up. Lumber mill. Oh wow, he's such a late sanctum. Be surprising. Oh, coming in with a sandwich here. Wow, I call in a very bad position. He has to TP out of this. Absolutely. Buddy, you need to TP. Oh, there's no TPs left! How is there no TPs in this shop? That never happens! You guys can't see it, but there's no TP in the shop. Oh, that is so bad. Uh-oh. He's just gonna lose everything, isn't he? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Shao Kai, you have to hurry, buddy. You have to hurry to save your mate. TC is somehow still alive. Dude, this is actually somehow working. Shao Kai is coming in from the back. Should have destroyers as well, I guess. TC is gonna die though. Can they recover now? Shao Kai will have to do a lot of heavy lifting. We have a cliff position here as well, going for the AM right away. Trying to force the TP. Romantic doesn't want to. He wants to stay in this. And now the DK in trouble as well. Whoo! Ankh though keeps him alive. I think he transferred that Ankh perhaps even. Ah, that's it. GG. No way out of this. Guagua stuck in the corner. No TPs left in the shop, man. When does that ever happen? Aye, that hurts. And with that, 1 0 for Romantic against Shao KK. Still haven't seen Turtle Rock today, by the way. Not that I'm complaining. I really don't think that map fits the 2v2s. I think actually Nullwood is pretty cool for 2v2. Centaur Grove. Kind of. Map 2 will be Twisted Meadows. Hmm. Do they have a specific strategy in mind here? So we saw TC first on the first map. Um, it is really hard to make TC work here. If you go TC first and Fiend build, you have like no presence in the early game. I don't think they're gonna do that. We'll see.
Could be the last map of the day. Unless... Linguagua and Shao Kai come back here. Map 2, Twisted Meadows. So, uh, no fiend build for Shao Kai. We're gonna have 10 fiends as it looks. With a far forward ziggurat, which is pretty brave. And, well, it's Linguagua spawning in the top left, so this is an easy decision for him. He doesn't have to consider do I go TC or Blade Master with this position. You certainly want to go Blade. By now, it is uh, absolutely the norm for orcs to go for the Rock Golem, or attempt it at least. Romantic. No barracks. I'm twisted? What do you want to creep without footies? Can you creep this camp with militia only? He could creep this, of course. Yes. But you can only really creep one camp with militia. Interesting. Late master, late master, DK. But I'm always most interested in romantics build here. A player's forces are under attack. Hmm. So, um, Shao Kai scouted the orc base over here. That means now that they know that the human is bottom left. So it could be a consideration trying to be aggressive against the lab. Level 1 AM harass. What the hell? What? <laughs> With Windwalk, this should be an easy last hit for the Blade Master. Oh my god. Oh, that was close. That was really close. <laughs> Imagine if the Aiden gets this last hit. Dude. Devotion Aura as well. One of the best items you can hope for in 2v2 especially. And everyone... Th guys, there's a party in Linguagua's base. Everyone's invited. Everyone's coming. Gonna cost Linguagua a lot of lumber, certainly. Oh, and perhaps a grunt kill as well. Oh, nice roll of speed. Uh, not quite nice enough. Blade Master will be able to get the kill here. Huh? Is under siege. Sacrifice of the creep. Ah! Blade Master gets the experience. AM though, out of mana. Low HP as well. Very aggressive game here. Pretty unusual to see. Level 1 AM harass, man. Huh. So, we do have the rifles again. Rifle rush, kind of. Why is Shao KK's tech so late? Did he give some resources to Romantic? Probably, maybe, I don't know. A player's forces are under attack. Militia coming out now. So this will be finally some experience for this AM. We're still not quite level two though. That's not a very easy camp to take. For Shakai. But I guess it seems to be working. Chuck KK going for the burrows again, but only level one blade. Not that strong. Shadow 
are coming out here. It's still gonna be a while. And romantic, what's he going for? MK, I imagine. Yep. Sanctum, rifles. Alrighty. The grunt's still all with romantic. The AM had a very, very slow start here into this game, but now is catching up quickly with the rifles and the grunts. Tipping up very fast. Ring plus four. Ah, for the MK. It's pretty good. This is one stubborn blade master. Still in the main. Only level one though. He's not gonna be too strong this game, probably. Is he gonna see the beast tree? Nope. <laughs> Still looking for these peon kills. Oh, get some. Player's forces are under attack. Blade master should be safe though. I guess. Yeah. Romantic still creeping. This would be a massive last hit to steal. Blade Master kind of reveals himself though. Oh, he gets it! I'm not sure about the last hit, but he got the item. Boots of Quelthalas. That's very nice for him. A player's forces are Didn't quite attack. see the experience. <laughs> Blade Master still over here. Very annoying. Looking for the auras here, as it seems. Oh, Blade Master! Now he could be in trouble. Stumble coming in. Not revealed anymore, though. So he's fine. The player's forces are under attack. Lich and Shadow creeping together. Still no level two for them. Blade Master also in trouble. He's dead. But that's level one. Really doesn't matter that much. So we mask for the Mountain King. Hit scroll, invul, getting ready to fight. In the middle, a fight's a brewing. DK very far forward. Throw the beast. Oh my god! That throw the beast is a massive deal right now. One kill on the rifle, two level up for the Lich and the Shadow Hunter both. Going for the Blade Master right away. The TP should be able to save him. No, he doesn't use the TP! Level 2 hero dies, but the scroll is still active. Still lots of damage here coming out, but no. Orb just yet for the undead side, so damage lo uh, lower than it could be. Once again, a hex coming in towards the Death Knight. Stormbolt is ready, but couldn't have found a kill. Even militia now coming in. We hear lots of grunts dying, and I think those are uh, Guaguas for the most part. Long range coil saves that fiend, but only for so long. With the scroll of the beast, it looked like they should be able to fight pretty well. Even the ghouls came in here actually. DK and Snare surround. Force into TP. And Romantic. And KK hold in the middle. Even without the level 1 Blade Master there for the longest time. But now tier 3 is done. Shade? What? Why is he going for a shade? That is very, very unusual for 2v2. The player's forces are under attack. Damage against the altar. If the Blade Master doesn't come back, this is a problem. He's got the aura, most importantly. But Mass P on repair should definitely be good enough. Yeah, he will be coming back. Stormbolt. Towards the Raider. The wave is there. Blade Master back, hexed instantly. Stormbolt is ready again, but he's next to the shop. Heal wave on cooldown for the time being. He has the TP as well. He uses this one. To reposition. Goes way into the back. Stuck behind the statues now. First destroyer is out. Now there's an answer to the spirit link. And see on the blade master for KK as well. He's only level one. He's not tanky at all. Repositioning from Romantic and his ally. But Romantic, of course, the carry here with the higher firepower. Rifles on 1-0. Not too bad at all. 
Especially destroyers if they come into range could be sniped easily, but good control here by Shao Kai with the destroyer in the back looking for his kills now more easily with that orb of corruption coming in. Which orc front line is going to crumble first? When it does, it's going to be tough for that team to hold on. Even Frost Armor trying to help these raiders stay alive. Going for the MK now and Snare Coil focused, but Invold is there, keeps him safe for the time being. This bell coming in again. This destroyer control has honestly been really good. Never exposed himself to the rifles. But now Ensnare coming in. Now rifles could aim for that destroyer. And that they do. Coil trying to save it. Ensnare wears off and destroyer survives. Again, really good destroyer usage here, I have to say, by Shao Kai. Peons around almost on this lich. Late massive by Shao Kai. He is finally level 2. But still pretty squishy. Going for the Lich once again. One more heal wave as well. But the call comes in and the Blade Master falls. And he had the TP. Xiao KK can't really get out. But Romantic is not done fighting yet. He's still in this. Looking for more kills. The Destroyer. Is it finally gonna die? Yep. Destroyer falls in statue right after. For so long. Xiao Kai was able to keep it alive for so well. AM has to TP out at the end of the day. Hex was about to be ready over there. And... He makes it away. Not finding that Lich kill. Lich now level 3. This was a very painful fight for Xiao KK, dropping down to 35. But Romantic, he's still in upkeep. He's got the expansion as well. The classic push with the expansion backup. Thank you so, so much, Das Dryden, with a 20 euro donation. Thanks for the hours of entertainment, he says. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Look at this armor on the DK. Plus eight. Holy smokes. Crystal ball. Is he gonna scan here? He sure is. And now they know. Uh oh. Time is on the enemy side. Level three now for the Shadow Hunter. Big level up for Shao KK. AM creeping so fast now with these rifles, which must be on 2 0. Yeah. MK is level three. Quarthalas boots. Not very useful. So counter expansion or all in? The age old question. This blade is ultra tanky by the way. Doesn't have that much damage though. Another chance for an aura. Oh and they get it! Lion Horn for Romantic and Shao KK as well. This game is looking good for him. And Romantic is doing the smart play. Could be attacking attack. into the Orc main and can just be TPing back if necessary. Dark Ranger third. Is that really that good? Silence first, as it seems. So, the idea is against the MK? Silence against the Mountain King? Maybe? I don't know about that. A town is under siege. Don't know about Dark Ranger so much. A player's forces are under attack. Lots of creeping here being done though by Lingwagwa and Shao Kai. Another pendant of energy. Very nice. And here we go. Romantic was patiently waiting in this position for his ally to come in. And now they want to push for the next fight. Whew. Suddenly, look at this Blade Master inventory. Town is under siege. The are under attack. Getting ready for their own counterattack. Our Linguagua and Shao Kai. Pillage on the way. And ooh, there's no reinforced defenses for these Boros. They're gonna melt. But so is the stronghold, honestly. Mass repair, not good enough. Are they gonna come to defend is the question. Yes, they are. One TP, two TPs. Orc first. Human behind. Looks like a very good position by the Shadowhunter. In deep, deep trouble! He's just instantly dead! They weren't thinking about that. The healer is out of this fight. And that's a big, big problem now. For Romantic. And his ally. Late Master though, also in trouble. Oh my god, dude. 
Shao KK is losing heroes like crazy. AM also extremely far forward. Way too far forward is the Archmage. Coil coming in and the Nova follow-up would have been enough. What the hell? Heroes dying way too easily. And I guess the TP was too aggressive. Should have been further back. It is Shao Kai still with his heroes alive. MK, can he do it? MK and Blade Master only. The support heroes, the healers, the aura is gone and the Blade Master is dead as well. But it's still a lot of rifles. It's a ton of rifles and a level four and a half Mountain King. Mana is basically all gone from Gua Gua and Shao Kai's side. And I guess they're doing it. Oh my god, that looks super scary. But at the end of the day, the 2-1 rifles are doing the job. Gonna get one more destroyer. Has to be the TP out here by Shao Kai. But they're down to one mining. One mining base now. One mining base versus three. Romantic and Shao Kai. Interesting playstyle by them. Super aggressive level one. Then very sacrificial playstyle by the Blade Master, even following into the mid game. And Romantic gears up super hard, creeping extremely heavily on AM and MK. Trying to carry the later stages of the mid game. And pushing before the undead comes to critical mass. Sixty-five supply for Romantic here for Shao KK. Thirty-seven only. My God, is the Blade Master back? Yes, he is. But Romantic's got a big and scary army. And here we go. Here goes uh, the base attack. They're doing this without a TP on the shadow. That looks pretty risky. Far forward narrow tower. You guys remember? That's why I don't like that. Sad you're taking out right away as well. Okay. This is gonna be the best fight they're gonna get. Oh, but 23 supply for Linguagua. I don't think you think he has the Blade Master. He's still reviving him. Has him back, finally. First walker dies right away. And off we go. Coil already used, now the Lich kind of exposed. Getting clapped and storm bolted, but still has time for the invul there with the heal wave coming in. DK is surrounded on the other side. He has death pack though, he is pretty tanky. Blade mass in trouble as well. Heal pot already used, no invul anymore. Blade mass could be falling, but so is the Lich. One more heal wave last second, but the Lich still falls. So does the DK, that's the GG. And 2-0 for Romantic and Shao KK.